Welcome back to the workshop and in this video we're going to be um, getting the Midas 25 wings to this stage. So that's the leading edges and training edges on and the tips and all sanded to follow the... I can't remember what it's called. They're all sanded to follow the shape of that but I can't remember what it's called all just about final sanded but obviously not just in case it gets damaged I need to fix it um, so another thing you're gonna see the video from once the leading edges and training edges are glued on because there was uh, footage that was lost from before it so basically what I did for that was making sure I got the right bit of wood for the training edge over the leading edge because I honestly can't remember but I believe they're different sizes um, and then um, glue along the training edge um, rub it in with your finger so you've got like a thin smear of glue um, then get the training edge on rub it backwards and forwards till it locks into place you'll know what I mean when you come to do it if you come to do it um, and then tape round or pins or elastic bands to hold it on and then exactly the same with the leading edge once that's dry tape off and then sanded to follow the shape of the wing again can't remember exactly what it's called dad will probably put in what it's called somewhere here um, then going on to the tip for the leading edge and training edge got them cut so there's about they when you go them on, there's about th there's a fair bit hanging off the edge, so you've got enough to sand back. Cut it back, so there's about a centimetre hanging off both sides, and then sand that back flush with the tip of the wing. Then, with the tip, go and put it on the right way. You do exactly the same thing with this. Thin smear of glue rubbed in with your finger. Rub that back with the foils till it locks in and then hold it, in, hold it on with pins or tape until it dries and then once it's dried take it off, sand it, flush it top and sand it to follow the wing top and bottom so I can't remember where I got to with these but these are the Myris 25 wings um, we've got leading edges and training edges glued on so I'm just going to be taking the tape off at the moment and getting them sanded. So the reason I'm using this tape is because the electrical tape on some of our other models that we have been building was pulling off the veneer. But that's just because we had a really bad type of, of masking tape. So I tried this tape but it's not stuck well at all. So I'm not going to be using that tape again. I think I'm going to have to use like rubber bands or something the next time. But I'm not sure. Um, yeah. So yeah, they're all stuck on quite nicely. So I'm going to cut off any excess. Then I'm going to get the instructions out and read what exactly what it says to do. And do exactly what it says to do. Right, yep. So, we're going to sand these, the leading edge and trading edge to follow aerofoil. Um, then we're going to sand the, we're going to cut these back to the sandable length and sand them back flush, both at the root and at the tip because there's going to be a tip lock that glue gets glued on here after. These aren't going to get cut, they're just going to get sanded, because they're at sandable length. Same, same goes with this one, but I'm going to start with this one. So I'm going to ever so slightly not listen to the instructions, and I'm just going to cut this bit off before I sand it, because it's just less I need to sand. So 
So as I said before, cut it to sandable length so it can be sanded flush. There's not much on there that needs to come off, so I'm just going to use the sander and not bother with the plane. There's a bit of a lump, big bump in this mat, but so I'm going to move this slightly so I can sand it flat. Move it to here. All still in shot? Yep. So I'm just sanding it to get the most of it down with the cross side and then I'm going to swap over to the final side. I was going to get a longer sanding block to make sure it's all even, but I don't actually need to. So that's that sorted. It needs a tiny bit of filler, I'll just, just here, but nothing much at all. So now it's going to the other side. Alright, so that's the training edge done. So I'll sand it back. All I need to do is the roots bit now, but I'm gonna have to wait there. I need to do the root and the tip, sanding back, but I'm gonna wait to do that until I've got the leading edge sorted. So on the leading edge I'm gonna use the plane because there is a bit more that needs taken off. It smells of bacon in here and I don't know why. Planes cut really nicely when you put brand new fresh blades in them the day before. So that's all finished with the plane. So that's just following the aerofoil along. Tiny bit of fill I need to put in losing edge again, but that's to be expected. So going with the plane again, just to do the other side. So that's us quite close there. Bit more it's taken off here. Yeah. So that's just quite close. Go into the sanding block now. So that's that leading edge sorted. Not completely sorted. It's gonna look something like that when it gets to this stage. So once I've got the tip glued on, no, once I've got the tip bit sanded down, I'm going to get the tip glued on. Once the tip's fully glued on, I'm going to sand it round to follow aerofoil, and then I'm going to do some final sanding to make this bit here look all nice. But at the moment, I'm going to repeat the, what I've just done with the other wing, and then I'll get the tips glued on. So I've got everything sanded sanded flush at the root and at the tip um, leading edges all sorted it's not had final sanding yet but it will do it's got training edge all sanded on which I already told you told you all this don't know why I'm telling you again but now we're getting the tip lock glued into place there it doesn't need any sanding there's no gaps or anything so I'll get that glued on so we're going to use pins just from what I said about 
the tape, the tape that we've got. So just four pins like that, angled so they actually holds it on. Then just wood glue, PVA, aliphatic resin, whatever you want to call it. All across here, hopefully you're in shot, or I'm in shot shall I say. Rub it in, get to that block, rub it backwards and forwards. Until it gets tight like that, get it in the right place without it falling off like that. Get it in the right place and pin it in. So that's all pinned in, just wiped out excess glue. And it's all sorted. No, it's not. It needs a bit of something to hold it down because it's not stuck. Really. It looks like we're gonna have to use this tape because it's the only thing that seems to work. Right, all sorted. There's now more glue smeared out the side. So yeah, the next one I'm just gonna use tape for. That's sorted. I'll put that to the side and do the other one quickly. All stuck and sorted. That's both of them done. So the, the next bit will just be me taking tape off and sanding these and cutting them to the right size. So where you last seen is where I was getting the tips glued on, all sorted. I've since sanded the tips to follow the aerofoil, not sanded along here to like smooth it out as such. I don't. Is that in short? Might be in short. Uh, yeah, it's in short. So, I need to smooth out through here, around here, but I followed around the airfoil, both sides. But I forgot to film it. No. I didn't forget to film it, I forgot to press record. So the camera's been sat up there, turned on, waiting to go, and it's... So I've done all this while I've been talking as well. So I literally just forgot to press record. I've done that on both both wings, followed the airflow. So now all I'm gonna need to do a little bit of filler in along here and a little bit in here just because I messed it up slightly. But that's probably gonna be it for this video. Um, so yeah, if you're enjoying this sort of content, leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.